Today I'm going to show you how to install LB Phone created by LB Scripts. It's an advanced phone script and comes with apps essential for the roleplay experience. It has options for custom apps as well. The configuration is beginner friendly and is packed with unique features you and players can enjoy. Use the link in the description to check out all the features and watch the creator's preview. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the store. You can see a preview, the requirements, and a list of features. Use the code CAM5 at checkout for a discount. If you want to purchase, go to your key master, enter the granted assets section, then find LB phone and LB phone model and download them both. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources and add it in. And go to your server config and ensure them. And make the phone the last thing to start. Next is running the attached SQL file, but before that's done, you delete all tables starting with phone in the database. So I'll go there. Right click and drop. and keep doing it until they're all gone. Once that's done, run the SQL. I left the link in the description to a video made by Anna that shows how to do this as well. Then go back to the LB phone folder. Into the config folder. And open the config. The first section here is for the logs. You can enable or disable it. Choose your service and choose which actions have logs. When choosing the service, the supported options are in the commented out text. I'm going to leave it set to Discord. The commented out text tells you where to put the webhooks. If you want to use 5 manage, there is a code in the documentation for 10% off, which is LB Phone 10. Next are options for the database checker and the framework. Default, it will auto detect what you're using. You can also manually input it using the list below. So for QB Core, it would be QB. Then you have options to enable or disable using a custom framework, QB Mail Events, and the old QB Job method. Each have commented out text to explain what they are. The next section is for the phone item. The first option is needing the phone item to use the phone and the item name. So I'll change that to true. Then there's an option for unique phones and the inventory you use. If you want to use unique phones, change it to true and use the link provided. It'll take you to the documentation which explains what the unique phones option does. It has the supported inventories and the steps for aux, qb, and custom inventories. I'm using aux inventory, so I'll copy the phone item and follow the path. Then use control F to search for the phone. And replace it with what I copied. Back in the config, the next option is for entities to be spawned server side, followed by the phone model, rotation, and offset. Then there's an option to disable the phone from opening using dynamic island and having a setup screen. Again, the commented out text explains what these are. Next are options for automatically deleting notifications, the max amount of notifications, and the apps that have notifications disabled. If you want to add some, there's an example and the path to find the name is explained. Then there are options to whitelist or blacklist apps for certain jobs with examples and an explanation in the commented out text. Next are options for changing the password and deleting accounts. Each have the app separated, so change it to true or false based on what you want for your server. The next section deals with companies. You can enable or disable players calling them. 
messaging them offline, where the calls are disabled by default, if anonymous calls can be placed, who can see the employees, and allowing employees to delete conversations. Below there are the companies with the job name icon, if players can call and message, the boss ranks, and the location. Then there's a section for the company contacts and company management, which has employee and boss actions you want them to be able to do through the phone. Next is a section for custom apps followed by valet options. You can enable or disable it, set the price and the ped model, choose whether the vehicle spawns or ped delivers it, disable damage and choose for the vehicle to be repaired when it's taken out. Then there's an option for your housing script. It's set to auto detect. You can also manually fill it in from the supported options below. Then there's a section for voice options. You can enable or disable call effects. Then there's an option for the voice system. Again, it'll automatically detect what you're using or you can manually fill it in. Next, there are options for voices and nearby players. That's followed by locations that appear in the phone app and language options. Then there's an option for the default color of the frame, an option to allow the color to be changed and phone number options. Below there are battery options for the phone. You can enable it or disable it, set the intervals for the options, and choose whether the battery drains when the phone isn't open. Then there are currency options. The first one is the format, which is dollars, followed by the maximum transfer amount and if players can transfer offline. Then there are more options for the daily and weekly transfer limits. If you want to use it, change false to the maximum amount you want. Next are options for players to pay through messages, send voice messages, and send gifts. Then there are options for the city name, if real time is used, and if a custom time is used. Then there are email options for the domain. If an email is set upon setup of the phone, if players can delete emails and conversion. Then there's an option for allowing players to delete messages, syncing flashlights, and ending the live when the phone is closed. Next are the apps and an option to allow external upload, followed by whitelisted and blacklisted domains for uploading. Then there's an option to blacklist words. You can enable it, choose the apps it applies to, and of course, add the words you want. Next are options for auto following. You can enable or disable it and do it individually for the app shown, followed by an auto backup option and the option to send posts to Discord based on the app. Then there are options for birdie. You can enable or disable trending hashtags, set how long they last, and choose if everyone gets a notification for posts or lives on Instapic. That's followed by promotion options on Birdie, how much it costs, and the views associated. Then there's the username filter and language options. Next is a section for crypto. You can enable or disable it, set the coins and currency, set how often it refreshes, use QB bit, and set the limits for buying and selling. Then there are keybind options and an option that allows movement followed by camera settings for photos and videos. Then there's a section for the upload method. I'll quickly show how to add the keys for five minutes in a moment. And the last two sections deal with video and photo settings. For the API keys, go to five minutes and once you've logged in, go to tokens. Then click create token and give it a name. And select the type. Then click create token. Once you've done that, copy the token, then go back to the LB phone folder, into the server folder, and into the API key section. Then at the bottom, paste what you copied in the corresponding spot, and of course, go through this for each one. After you've done that, the last thing to do is add the inventory image. So go back to the LB phone folder, find the inventory image, and I'm going to rename it to phone so it matches the item. Then copy it and add it to your inventory following the correct path. For aux inventory, it's in the web folder and then in the images folder. And then I'll replace the old one. If this video was helpful, consider supporting my work by ordering a VPS or transferring your current one of one of one service using the link below. Created by the team behind Project Soft, one of one service is a top VPS provider for popular 5M servers delivering unmatched uptime and performance. They offer the best DDoS protection, super fast 10 gigabit per second internet speed, and exceptional support via Discord and tickets with 96% of tickets answered in under 30 minutes. With locations in Dallas, Ashburn, Chicago, and Europe, they ensure low latency and top tier reliability. When you first open the phone, you're met with setup options. So I'll choose the language and set a pin. There's also a face ID or unlock option. So I'll enable that as well. Then you can choose between a light and dark theme. And then once the setup's complete, you're on the home screen with the apps. You can go to the apps app to download more as well. 
I left a link in the description to a preview of them. And if you click under the battery percentage, there are more options as well. It shows when music is playing. You can change the volume and brightness. And then below are more options for the flashlight, power saving mode, and screenshotting, among other things. In the settings, you can create backups, toggle airplane mode and streamer mode, and choose whether or not an app has notifications and whether the sound is on for them. You can also adjust the ringtone and call volumes, as well as change the ringtone and text tone. Then you have the general settings where you can reset the phone. There's an option for the display and brightness where you can also change the theme if you wanted to or make it automatic where it'll change on its own. There's a brightness option in here as well as the phone scale so you can make it bigger or uh, smaller. You can also change the frame color in here by clicking one of the presets or opening the wheel where you can change it to a color of your choice. So I'll just make it like a lime green. Then there's a section where you can change your wallpaper and blur the home screen. Then you can change the password, I believe this is my old one, or you can reset the face ID, turn it off completely so there's no passcode or change it. Then there's the phone section with your number, where the caller ID is shown, and the list of the blocked contacts. Once you open the camera app, the controls show, so I'll flip the camera and take a photo. After you take it and go to the share button, you can share it on a social media app if you have it, Copy the photo or set it as wallpaper. So I'll upload it to Birdie. And just put a caption. And post it. There are also options to pin, delete, or promote the post. The next thing I'll show is the valet option, which I personally like. In the garage app, you can see all of your vehicles. And when you click one in the garage, you can see the location. You can call the valet and see the stats like the fuel engine and body levels. So I'll go ahead and call the valet and it lets you know there is a price. Also lets you know the vehicle is on the way. And when you open the map, you can see the vehicle making its way to you. And the vehicle is here. The next thing I'll show is the services app. When you hover over the company or business, if no one's online, it'll say closed. Of course, I'm on as a police job now. Players can call, send messages and see the location on the map. For the workers, under actions, you can toggle your duty status, accept or deny calls from customers, and as the boss, see the balance, withdraw or deposit, hire people and see who's online, which is myself. And then in the messages, you have the personal messages uh, for the business and the job ones as well. The last thing I'll show is some options between players. So I'll share my number with Sunday here. and accept then I'll call now you can message call and do the video option from here or share their contact you can share your location add them to favorites and block them as well so I'll go ahead and call and walk away and there's an option to put the call on speaker an option to mute and a video option wait for them to answer and you can flip the camera around put it on speaker and mute as well another cool thing is sending money to other players through the messages app um, among the other options down here you click the money and you can put the amount i'll just do 10 and you can request or send so i'll go ahead and send and i'll let you know money was taken out That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. I will be posting more, so if you have suggestions, comment them down below or in my Discord in the Suggestions channel. Thank you for watching.